Welcome back guys. This is video number three on building a strap. And uh, you can see that our body is dried from all the stuff we did last time. And it's looking good. And pretty soon we'll sand it down again. And I say sand it, but I'm gonna use the steel wool. Um, and then put another coat on. And uh, it's looking nice. And today what we're gonna really start on you guessed it, the neck. This comes uh, as a paddle neck and that just means this is a really basic shape, so you can turn it into whatever you want. Um, traditionally, the strat has a shape that goes round kind of big at the top and then kind of comes back a little bit to give it some contour. Um, I'm going to go with a pretty minimalist, kind of a straight. I'm just going to take a chunk off of the end here and then round it out um, on these little spots. And that's what I'm going for. Um, the other thing that we will replace is the nut on here. Um, the slotting actually looks good and accurate. Uh, it's just that the actual nut itself is totally plastic. And it's cheap plastic. Um, a nut is probably one of the most least expensive parts on the entire guitar. And it can be really tricky to get right. Um, but if you get a nut right, it completely changes the feel. Um, it affects the tone. And we'll get into that in a separate video. So today we're going to work on cleaning up the neck a little bit, shaping it. Um, we have just a very little bit. Um, they did a nice job, you can see, on actually filling where they put the frets in. Um, but the only thing is, it is a little bit rough at some parts. If you run your finger over it, ooh, like that one right there. Um, and we call that fret sprout. If you can feel the frets kind of sticking out, if they grab or they're a little bit sharp. Um, so we're going to actually take some sanding block to that. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick the shape of our headstock and then we're going to go cut it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, you know, take a pencil because I want to see kind of outline of what I want it to look like. And because the nut is already in here, um, I'm going to take any straight edge and just make sure that that nut to that last tuner hole has enough space because um, that's the main thing is you need to have enough headstock left uh, for that to make it to here. Uh, and that's where a lot of the strength of the neck needs to be on the headstock there. Otherwise, you have some leftover bits here, and then you have a contour on the top. It's kind of whatever you want. So I'm going to start just by kind of tracing out um, what I think I want. Yeah, and then I'm going to round it here, and I'm going to round it here a little bit. That I like, so I'm going to make that a little bit thicker now that I like the line. And if you want to get all crazy with measurements or, you know, special designs, go for it. I want to make a simple headstock, um, so you should be able to see. I'm going to make a straight line here. And then I'm going to round it off just a little bit um, to go with a really kind of minimalistic looking headstock. And uh, when I'm all finished with it, I will put my, um, my Legacy Guitars logo right here. Oh well. Okay. So the other thing we're going to do is I did a little test strip of um, this stain. And this came out a little bit stronger than I like. Um, and since... I want this to look relict and um, aged, but I don't want it to look like the neck is mahogany. I still kind of want to look like it, some aged maple. Um, I got a gunstock stain, and it's a little bit too dark. Um, so I'm going to try something that I've not done, so we'll see how it turns out. But I'm going to mix it. I'm going to dilute it and uh, see how that goes. Uh, yeah, it's a, it says it's a quick drying stain, like a one hour, so that's kind of nice. Um, but first, the sanding and 
the headstock. So we took it out and I cut this off with a bandsaw and then I took my belt sander and uh, did a nice kind of rounding um, on the edges here and uh, I'm pretty happy with the shape. I like that. And, um, and then I just took some sandpaper and uh, smoothed out the rest of the neck here. A little bit there that I might hit a little bit more. Um, but now, I might sand that just a touch more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stain, which you can tell I tested here, and I found it to be a little bit darker than I wanted. Uh, I'm going to take this stain and I'm going to dilute it. And then we're going to test it a little bit, and if I like it, we're going to do the whole neck in that. And then we're going to kind of sand um, some of that back with the steel wool rub it back to make it uh, a little bit uh, faded looking. And then we're gonna experiment. Woo, fun. Here we go.